so to me, there's really two types of intellectual property in your business. One is what we call sort of the, the hard assets, which are copyrights, patents, and trademarks. Most companies don't realize it's not very expensive to go in and have a trademark on your logo, have copyrights on key phrases, and have patents on your key technology. And that's what differentiates you. If you go in and just walk across a parking lot, you go in and how do you recognize a high-end vehicle? By the logo, right? If you look at it from a side today, uh, a $30,000 automobile from the side looks just as expensive as $100,000. The difference is when you look at the hood, whether it has a BMW or it has a Lamborghini, it's the logo or the trademark that differentiates from the competition. Why does somebody pay $3,000 for a Gucci purse? Because it's got Gucci all over it, right? It's got the logo. So if you want to have a unique business that differentiates, you need to have that logo trademark. I, I laugh at so many companies, they're making 30 or $40 million in revenue and their logo is not trademarked. They don't have a unique differentiator in the market of how people can distinguish you from your competitors. So just go in and think of what are your assets? What are your unique logos, your phrases, your trademarks? And then what is your unique way of operating? And then just start creating a portfolio of intellectual property because that's what ultimately when you're selling companies, they're going to look for. That's how they're going to evaluate your company. And then the other thing is trade secrets. These are things on how you do business processes, how you operate. Once again, we sort of take it for granted, but the way you operate and run a business is actually unique.